Hello everyone, we are back with Land Velvet Reviews today. I got these leveling legs uh, for the base for this. Uh, you already saw me build it, I made a video, whatever. This is going to be the base for my new aquarium, my uh, 60 gallon breeder. So it's going to be for that. So I got this. Um, I'm going to get another four. These weren't heavy duty ones. I think these are rated for uh, 500 pounds each. So it's I think it's 2,000 pounds per four, for all four of them. So this is kind of the box that they are shipped in. Uh, that's like the, I guess, the model number or whatever the hell they give you right there. You can pause that. Let's cut this open. I'll get my scale. I'll weigh it too just to see because I am going to order a different brand and I'm going to compare the brands for you just so we can see what's up. I like to do a comparison so you kind of know where your money's going. Now, these are supposed to be, uh, like I said, 500 pounds each. They were $16.99, so I do not know quality and price. I've never bought these before, so I do not know. Here's the tools that they give you. They give you a hardware right here. So in here is the uh, the wrench um, and the uh, key or whatever, uh, Allen key or whatever you want to call it. So the Allen key goes up here. So, wow, they are pretty big. I mean, so the Allen key goes up here and then uh, this, this, I guess, um, you know, it'll go down like this. And then I guess you use this to uh, secure it, you know, so it doesn't, uh, so it doesn't move. So I guess, yeah, like, you, you know, you go like that and then you would use that to, I guess, tighten it this way. And then that would lock it into place so the legs, you know, don't move while you're trying to, I'm not gonna move this, but I guess that's just so it doesn't move. So I wish this lip was a little bit bigger. So my plan is to, since this is gonna be roughly, um, you know, if I have a refugium or anything like that, this could be upwards of 1,000, 1,200 pounds. So um, I'm going to get another four of these. So I'm going to put like one here, one here. I'm going to put uh, four over there, and then I'm going to put another four on the inside. So this is a ruler right here, so you guys can, you know, kind of see what's up here. So that's kind of what we're looking at right there, the size. That's about how much, um, you know, like I said... I'll hold it different ways so you guys can kind of uh, get the gist of the size of it. So I want to know how far it sticks away. Not a, I wish, like I said, I wish they made it a half inch. I would have felt more secure if this was a half inch. But anyway, uh, th that's how big it is. So you guys can see that's how far you can expect it to, you know, sit out when you're going to be putting it on the furniture. And we're in a center line because I have, I have a, uh, oh, 24, so exactly the center. Be here. All right, so let's flip this over, give it a try out with those two. Uh, you saw how easy that was. I pre drilled because um, mine was all busted up, the thing in here. So I wasn't happy with that. It was, you know, pushing it out. You crack this and break it, then the screw won't hold. You don't need to have this flipped over to install these, obviously. Um, you just need to be able to have enough space to get this lip under here. Um, but just make sure the lip is, you know, secured on here. Otherwise, you know, then you're not getting the capacity either. So let's flip this over. All right, so sorry for the light. I know it's bad. So they are installed. That's kind of what it, you can expect it to look like, what it sticks out as. So now you guys can see what's up when you're looking at it. So what I did was I put uh, two of these salt buckets on. Yes, I know I use cheap salt, but that's because I'm poor. Um, with these two buckets and that brick, it's roughly about 100 pounds. I'm not going to put any more than that because it's good. It's 100 pounds right here. Let's, uh, let's lift this up, see how easy it is to lift this up with the 100 pounds on it because these are rated for, you know, 500 pounds or whatever the hell they said they were. So let's see what's up here. Kind of what they look like right now. This is what 100 pounds on it. So, sorry, I kind of had it locked up there. Oh, there we go, now they work, okay. This one was kind of locked up. Okay, so let's see. So I didn't get to the bottom yet, so I don't know what's going on, but we're just gonna lift this an inch or two and see what's up. All right, so definitely you can't have, it's not as easy that you can't um, use the, use it this way. I mean, yeah, if you use an impact gun, you can have this lift in two seconds, but I mean, you can probably damage this too. I doubt these are made that good. If you put an impact gun, you might uh, strip this out. So maybe with a regular drill. So you are gonna use it this way. It's the easiest way, but let's see. 
I mean, it's pretty simple. I guess it's a screw. It's doing all the work. And like I said, this is with 100 pounds on top of it. So I am testing it out with some weight for you guys. And I mean, seems like I'm all, I'm putting minimal pressure and this thing's going up in the air. So, and I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. Um, my floor sucks. So I'm going to probably put something below these legs. Um, cause I already see this one kind of pushing in. So I might put something thin under here. Uh, just do it, but I'm just showing you guys. It's pretty easy to lift. Um, that's it for Glen Velvet reviews on these. If uh, you know you uh, have furniture and aquarium like me, I don't know. You're trying to level it. You're having a hard time, or whatever the case may be. Your floors are messed up, like mine. Um, when you put a lot of weight on these, uh, I have a float. I have a floating floor under here uh, because we we uh, I live in a basement, so we have water that comes up and. I don't want the water in my you know apartment so I put a floating floor under this floor just to let you guys know if you have a floating floor like me you're gonna have to uh, put something under here to uh, you know uh, alleviate um, all the downward pressure in that one area as long as you make it like you know roughly about the same size as this at four inches then you're fine if you have mine kind of floors if you don't you're lucky but all right, uh, but like I said, that's it for Glen Velvet Reviews. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community. All right, everybody enjoy. Be safe. I'm out. Bye-bye.